Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Andrea with your 15-minute full leg workout. No equipment needed in this one, so just grab a yoga mat, a water bottle. You know how we do. Let's get it. So it's like you want to come all the way in, but you're just going to come halfway. So front lunge, halfway in. All right, three, two, one. Let's go. So with these no equipment leg workouts, I'm always trying to find ways to increase that muscle time under tension. So you're still stepping it up throughout each movement. And you're giving your muscles more time to work, okay? And if you need to, you can come all the way in. Just give me a full front lunge. No problem with that as well. You got some balance issues, hang on to a wall and go here, okay? Wherever you at, we doing it from home. Come on, happy to be back, let's get it. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Now we're gonna go for our left leg. And so when I'm bringing it in, I'm bringing it in on my toe, okay? So I'm here, I land on my toe, just to go right back at it. Let's go in three, two, one, come with me. So you're giving me a good push off of that front leg. And if you want to, go ahead and get your arms involved. Come on. And at the beginning, I just always want to make sure that you know that anytime you show up, that is something that a lot of people are not doing. Just choosing yourself is a battle because we always have so many things going on in our lives. But keep showing up for yourself and you're going to see your results. Two. One, good job, all right. Now we're gonna split this time period in half. So we'll go for about 23 uh, seconds on the right, and then we'll switch it, all right? I'll tell y'all when to switch. We'll go in, three, two, one. Let's get it. myself going back too far so I'm never coming all the way up and I'm on my toe in the back as well let's switch in two one go ahead and switch it over good job come on five Two, one, good job. All right, next up we're gonna go for a side lunge. Let's start with the right leg. Side lunge, pop it up. Side lunge, pop it up. So I'm sitting my hips back and I'm really trying to power out of that right leg. Let's go. Come on. So side lunges are good for that glute. And again, as always, get your arms involved. Just power it out. Come on. 15 seconds, and I'm almost coming up to where I'm standing on top of this left leg. Five, two, one, 
Great job. Now we're just gonna switch it to the left leg. I'm out, and I push off. All right, we got it. Single leg movements, amazing to work out any muscular imbalances you have. Two, one, let's get it. Make sure you're coming out with power. All right, I'm gonna go from the side so you can see my hips are back, all right? So I'm really engaging the hips by giving me a good hinge, and then I push out. 15 seconds, sit it back, sit it back. Nice work. So, now we're gonna go, like we did last time, split this time period in half. We'll start with that right, about 23 seconds, and then we'll go to the other side. All right, let's go in three, two, one. Let's get it. Come on, you're doing good. About 10 more seconds on this leg, and then we switch it right on over. Two, one, let's go ahead and switch it. Right there with you, right there with you. All right, now we're gonna go for a plie squat with a calf raise. All right, so you're gonna be nice and wide, further than shoulder width apart, toes out at that 45 degree angle, and then you're just gonna come up here. Come up here. Two, one. So we're only gonna come up on our right toe this first round. So you'll feel a little bit more pressure on that left leg. So think about this as almost a plie squat pulse, and then just lifting up that right toe. Okay, so really pushing down. Come on. And again, I'm still hinging the hips back so that my back is not engaged. I'm not using my lower back. Five, come on. Two. One, nice job. So you guessed it, next round, we're gonna go ahead and go over to the left leg for that calf raise. And when I say that my hips are hinged, I'm sticking my glutes out so that they can be engaged. Two, one, let's get it. So I do wanna see a little bit of a difference in that squat, so when you come up for that raise. So I'm getting a little bit deeper. Come on. Nice and wide, toes face out. That's how we get those glutes. 15. So this time we're actually just gonna go for both toes in the calf raise. So you're gonna go squat, come up, squat, come up. So you're just coming up halfway. You're not coming all the way up to where your legs are extended. All right, two, one, come up. So my knees are still bent. I'm gonna go for that raise. Y'all doing so good. Beautiful work today. This is what it's about. If you breathe a little heavy, that's cool. Remember, breathe in your nose, out your mouth. So when you come up, breathe out. Come on, 15 seconds. I know it burns. That's what it's supposed to do. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Five. Three. Two. One. All right, now we're gonna go for 
for another lunge variation. Let's just move our left leg this whole time. Take it back, kick it up. First lunge, kick it up. So I'm staying in this right leg the whole time. All right, so split position and kick. So you come all the way up, neutral back for that lunge, and then kick it up. But don't kick super hard, okay? Just give me a little, little pulse kick so you're not engaging your back. Nice engaged core though. And as always, if you need to, hold on to a wall so you can get that balance down. Come on, five, three, two, one. Now we switch it. We're gonna have the right leg back, left leg in front. Just breathe through it, breathe through it. And that back leg does not have to touch the mat. If you can go that low, go that low. But don't put too much pressure on yourself. If you need to just be here and here, then do that. All right, two, one, come on. It's about working at a good level and a good pace for you. You see me going too fast? Slow it down for you. I put these workouts out so that anybody is able to get fit from home. That means whatever fitness level you at, you work on what you got. That's all we can do in this life. Come on. 15 seconds. Five. Two. One. Nice work. All right, so this one we will split in half. Let's have that right leg in front first. And then we'll switch it back to the left leg for that last half, all right? Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Three, two, right leg in front. Come on. So drive that heel, that front heel. Drive it through the ground. Two, one, and let's switch it. jumping that's cool still try and get as low as possible there are so many ways that you can push yourself with these movements it's all about stepping it up for you and that's what you want anytime we're working out anytime you're going through stuff in your life it's really just about how can I make this work for me to the best of my abilities let's get it 10 seconds, come on. Five. Two. One, shake it out. 
One more time, one more time. And I gotta step it up just a little bit more. We're gonna work for this last full minute. Embrace the burn, we came to work, we set our intention, and we gonna keep those. Let's get it. Last minute, think about whatever you gotta think about. Take yourself on a beach, maybe you first class, on a private jet, whatever you're imagining right now. Keep that in your mind so that you can get through this work period. Let's go. And right now, you should be breathing out as you jump or as you give me that squat and you come up on them toes. We back, baby. We back. Come on, keep this energy high. 20 seconds. This is where you dig a little bit deeper and you say, hey, I'm tired, but I got other people doing this with me, so I'm gonna keep going. 10 seconds. Don't give up on yourself, come on. Five, three, two, one more. One, great job. Give me a deep breath in and then breathe out. Congratulations, you made it through. Yeah, another challenging workout. You chose yourself, never stop doing that. I hope that y'all enjoyed this one. If you did, please, please, please subscribe. I wanna be able to keep bringing y'all these great home workouts, they're really efficient. And if you're doing these workouts three to four times a week, there is no way that you're not gonna see some type of result. Do these, eat clean, you know, eat your fruits, eat your vegetables, Drink your water throughout the day because you are worth it. Most of the time, we think that we can't accomplish something, so then that means that we're not gonna be consistent. But if you believe in yourself enough, then you will accomplish your goals by being consistent, because you'll keep wanting to do it over and over. And on the days where you don't wanna do it, it's cool, but you know you got goals. You know you got stuff that you wanna get done. So go despite those feelings, those negative feelings. Choose the thought that tells you that you can do it, because you can. You just did that workout, okay? So we gonna keep working. I'm gonna keep being here to encourage y'all, building out this piece of fitness community. This is what it's all about. Digging deep, telling ourselves that we can and we will. All right, so. Go ahead and subscribe, like, comment what type of workouts you wanna see in the future. I'll do some with dumbbells um, here shortly. Also have those stretches coming soon. So if you didn't stretch, go ahead and stretch um, after this workout. And then when you run it back, stretch before, because I should've said that in the beginning. All right, so without further ado, I will stop talking. I hope you got one step closer to your peace of mind, because that's my goal with each workout and piece of fitness. So until next time, I'm gonna see y'all. Shimmy, shimmy. All right. Peace.